Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is being done because my husband and I have taken part in a 5K colorectal walk. This walk was organized by one of our physicians to help raise money to help treat and prevent colorectal cancer. So actually I had to take the sound out of my some sections of the video because I don't have copyrights to some of the music that was playing in the background. So basically I also want to say if you are 50 years or older or if you have a high risk of getting a colorectal colorectal cancer, basically you need to get a colonoscopy done. If you're 50 years or older and have not had your colonoscopy, please call your doctor and schedule one as soon as possible. Getting a colonoscopy, colonoscopy can actually help be an early detector of colorectal cancer where you can be um, get treatment early or it even can possibly prevent colorectal uh, cancer. So um, go ahead and get your colonoscopy done. My husband and I had an excellent time at this walk. We really enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. We headed to the start line. You want to be in my video, Michelle? You're going to be on YouTube? April, you want to be in my YouTube video? Okay, wait. Okay, now do it. Bye, let's go around. All right, yay. <laughs> okay, so we're getting ready to okay. start our Also, everybody who's a survivor, all of my survivors, could you please make your way over to the starting line for the photo? It says Fleet Feet. You'll see the, the, the big arch in front of the sign. That will let you know where it is. It's a survivor's photo. Could you please make your way over there? We'll be taking a picture in three minutes. Three minutes. And also, Julie Go Goodman. Julie Goodman. Is Julie Goodman or in? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay, about to begin the walk. we it started. Here we go. Time to start. We're starting to walk, guys. We're passing over the line. Just look at the uh, <laughs> look at the uh, hey y'all, guys. So we walking. Hey babe, my hubby with me, having a good time. Give me a walk. Yeah, he been wanting to do one of these walks for years, so we finally got one in together because I've done one before. So we walking. I don't think we made a, a, a mile yet, I don't think, because they have us walking up this way and other people going back on the other side. So we're still at it. I don't think we made one and a half miles yet. I think the turnaround point is going to be a mile and a half. But anyway, you hanging in there, John? Cakewalk. It's a cakewalk. Yeah. Uh huh. You want a job? Yeah. Come on, let's job. No, I don't think so. All right. <laughs> it's the front, and then I'm turning around back. Those are the people behind us. We not. We like in the middle of folks. Who is this? Here go a team. I go a team. Oh, F3. What is that? That must be an army or navy or somebody. Some water. So we at the one half mile mark. We're getting water. Thank you. So we got our water. Now we're going to keep on walking. Oh, we got another mile and a half to go. I told you we hadn't reached the one half mile yet, babe. That's the, that's the one and a half mile? Yeah, that's, they say they was giving us water at the one half mile mark. We more than halfway done. How you feeling, babe? Great. Like I ain't walked nowhere. We on the way back. I, I didn't even look up to see how long this walk was, but I know it seems to be over three miles. I see. All right. We on the way back. 
I thought it was a lot of, I thought it was more people in front of us than the back. But the people on the other side of me, they're in the back of us. So, it's a lot of people in the back of us too. So, we doing pretty good. I know I'm tired. This is my sixth day of walking. So, I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. This is my sixth, sixth day of walking. And I think this is over three miles. I should have researched it before we started, but I definitely think it's over three miles. So behind me, there's all the people behind me. Then I already showed you people on the other side. So we're not too far behind the crowd. All the runners are done though. All right. This is our last stretch. Our last stretch, y'all. Okay. And I'm about to give no out. Swing. You ain't sweating? Nope. I bet you not. Then raise up your arms. Look at that sweat, baby. You are no sweating. Sweat. <laughs> yes, you are. Look at that. No Look. They have a water right there. <laughs> so he is sweating. I know I am. Rest of the, uh, we got this move here to the stop sign and then probably one or one one or two more blocks okay so basically i had to mute the sound to this portion of the video because there was a lot of music uh playing in the background so we're coming up to the finish line and um once we get to the finish line it's going to show you guys our time i think we finished in one a little bit over one hour i think it was one hour and or one minute or so but we had a very good time doing this walk and um i just i can't wait to the next walk because i really enjoyed my husband company and i just had a good time and this was actually um for a good cause so you can see there that we did one hour and one minute. That's a big colon they have set up. We have our race results. Our results will be posted in about Hello. another 30 minutes. We also have our spirit award. We'll be giving away at 9.30. Maple cinnamon and almond butter. This is maple cinnamon. I think I do maple cinnamon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please report so the race is over and, and we're about to go. Please report yeah. to the state. Okay. DJ. Let's do our last little picture before we leave. Okay, this is our last uh, video for today. The, the, the uh, walk is over for us and we get ready to head it on in. I'm going to take y'all in the colon with me. Come on, the colon. Okay. Okay. So this is normal and tissue here. And then they have up here is a uh, crown. Uh oh, be careful. Okay, you got a Chick fil A. Up here is uh, how your colon would look if you have uh, Crohn's disease. House of Horrors is And over here is a House of Horrors. Is how your colon would look if you have uh, a malignant, uh, a malignant polyp. A polyp is like a, an abnormal growth of a tissue. And what is this? You ready? Okay.